never forget, Bob, the first time I heard you teach on Luke 2.52. I was stunned. You know, how many, all of us as Christians have read that passage right. dozens, maybe hundreds of times. Right. But you just sort of skip over it because it's so, such a small passage, you never think about it. And I remember you were going to teach on it. What is he going to teach on this? <laughs> And it was absolutely profound. What, what caused you to share this passage with the world? One day I was um, with a friend of mine um, who was a former NAF pilot. And we were driving down to Satillo, Mexico to do a course for high school students in cultural anthropology. These were kids who were interested in missions. And uh, my friend said, have you ever considered Luke 252? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> and he start, and he talked about, you know, this little verse, which seems like a tag um, last, the last verse of chapter 2 of Luke. A throwaway. A throwaway. And, uh, and, and he said, you know, Bob, I think there is a profound depth in that little verse. And so we started to talk about it. And I began to realize that this verse was a description of God's intentions for the only perfect human being mm. who ever lived. Mm. That's powerful. And, and the description was holistic. It wasn't just spiritual. And th this is mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit instructing Luke mm -hmm. on what God's intentions were for his baby, mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. son. And it was... It didn't even start off with spiritual things. Mm -hmm. And Jesus grew in wisdom. Not intellectually. He grew in wisdom, which includes the intellectual mm -hmm. domain. He grew physically. And then spiritually. And then socially. And, you know, being sort of an amateur um, anthropologist, you know, and having studied Maslow and his incredibly complex classification of human need and human development, I began to, to ask the question, could all of human development fit into those four categories? And I began to think, it could. <laughs> all of human need, all of human development, all of God's intentions, for us as human beings can be reflected in that, that little throwaway mm -hmm. verse. 